Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next part of your uh, online examination system. So in this video tutorial I am going to, uh, oops, it's not a comment, it's uncomment. In the data access layer you can see the application DB context. So uh, in this video I am going to show you how to apply migration in the project. So just you can, you can open your package manager console just inside in your uh, taskbar of your visual studio and uh, just apply your migrations that like uh, add migration command so the first migration you can see so in it you can apply detect here and build started oops db context was not found in assembly online examination oops because the actually a db context is actually exist in the data access layer so you just selected a data access layer from the drop down menu in the default project so uh, project build uh, successfully but uh, some warnings related to the packages like the entity framework tools version 5.0 is older than that is the runtime 5.0.3 so just updated uh, your NuGet package uh, in the NuGet library in the later video session <coughs> so the migration is successfully applied and you can check your database uh, in a SQL server uh, and uh, your server is a local host uh, local DB SQL server so online examination DB is there and uh, lots of uh, table uh, like exam result exams groups users and uh, students also so uh, there is the um, users table now after that uh, just close all the tabs after uh, apply the migration okay so uh, what uh, what are the next thing to do uh, in your in your project that is just open your user controller and you can see the index uh, pay uh, index section method where you, all users all teachers actually account service dot get all teachers page number and the page size so just generate a razor page uh, related to your uh, view related to your control action method so where all, uh, where all teachers uh, will show okay so in the template you can select a view name that is index and template is list and the model name is uh, user view model where all teacher access and updating dependencies and here you can see that uh, already de uh, designed a page uh, that page result and also this uh, we have uh, a table cs pager index uh, like indexing and uh, So just remove the enumerable because uh, I'm using the page result class for the paging. So just replace with the enumerable uh, with the page result. And you can see that page result is not available. And also just copy that code and paste wait for some times I will show you all the codes so there is a no need to related to the total counts username passwords etc so only there is two things is need that is username and the user uh, sorry name and the username so uh, you can see that uh, page result is uh, related to the usings and the namespace error so just resolve it in the view uh, imports okay and also you can see that a variable item in model data uh, so name and the username and the CS pager is also uh, add a new get package for the related to the CS pager class that is the cloud scribe package so just add first of all tag helper cloud scribe uh, before adding the uh, uh, tag helper in the view imports just add the cloud scribe new get package from the package manager console so just add it cloud scribe 
and you can see that pagination is there cloudscribe.web.pagination so just install it yes and uh, after install the package you can see that page result is not could not uh, be found or you missing the directives so just add usings in the view imports of your web project and where your uh, actually exist uh, the page result class yeah there is a uh, i think Mm, page result is not there in the folders okay and just open the view imports file and uh, first of all add uh, the uh, add pagination tag helper so add tag helper cloudscribe.web.pagination oops first of all add these uh, tag helper and also add usings uh, letter to the page result class so yeah page result is there uh, in the view models project you can see that online examination dot view models the page result is there so just uh, add the red directive usings and uh, page result online examination dot page result view models okay so just resolve that problem yeah there is the page result okay okay the uh, but the page result and uh, you have not uh, a username so just i think the spell is uh, missing so just replace that username with the user name name is a camel uh, notation so username oops dot name role password username okay and cs pager you can see that cs pager paging page number page total items uh, it's all are there and in the startup class you can see your endpoints and uh, home controllers default there so just replace with the users so just i want to show your the first output letter to the user new model so just run your project again and also set as the uh, startup project that is the web project okay so just run it and you will see the first output of the project that is the create and uh, name username and the role and uh, create that is not available the views because it's not uh, there in the views folder so just uh, you can see that that is the table and here we have two uh, three things that is the name row username and the uh, role and respective data is getting from the model so it's model dot data and here we have a cs pager class uh, that is uh, defined by the pagination cloud described by pagination and also we have a data table so and data table uh, library is not added so later videos i will add and uh, resolve these all problems thank you very much for watching this